It's my great pleasure to be here. Thank you for Professor Stufle and Masaru Taniguchi inviting me to this workshop. Today, I will talk about the complex value time series modeling with relation to directional statistics. <clears throat> this is the contents of my talk. So this, that's for the introduction. I will briefly review some directional statistics and uh, <clears throat> the relation to the directional statistics and time series spectra. So the spectral density of a time series is a periodic function, and it's closely related to the circular density function used in the field of directional statistics. This is uh, <clears throat> reviewed by the, the day before yesterday's um, Professor Taniguchi's talk. So, so I, <clears throat> in his talk, so they are uh, proposing the circular density with relation to the uh, time series spectra. But in this talk, I will uh, introduce some time series modeling, which has the uh, uh, well-known circular and time series densities. So the clear relationship between time series spectra and circular densities uh, investigated by Taniguchi et al. 2020, the well-known circular distribution, including Lap, Cauchy, and von Mises and Cato and Jaws models, is related to the spectral densities of AR1 and MA infinity and AR2 or ARMA11 models. In this study, we will investigate complex value time series modeling with spectral density functions are uh, expressed by using circular <coughs> distributions. Forward. So <coughs> let me introduce some uh, complex valued random variables here. The complex random variable Z is a map from some probability space into the field of complex numbers whose real and imaginary parts are random variables. For complex random variable Z, and it's Z and Z1, Z2, we define the expectations and variance and covariance of the um, complex values. The following properties are useful for evaluating autocovariance functions. <coughs> then, forward. For oh, zero mean random variables X and Y with correlation coefficient law XY, the variance of the complex number z becomes this expression. So in this case, we, if there is a, um, a, two, a real and imaginary part of this composes this uh, complex value z, then the usual variance doesn't hold the information on the um, correlation coefficient rho x and y. So the variance, z, variance of complex number z doesn't carry information about the correlation coefficient between the pairs of x and y. So we need another definition of the complex valued um, variance, uh, that is second order moments of the uh, complex number z. We denote this is the children variance of z, which is uh, um, the expectations of z square, but this square doesn't take the uh, con complex conjugate. Then this expression, uh, there is a um, there appear the, the correlation coefficient between x and y here. So this, this information is called the complex complementary variance or pseudo variance. So in this, so in modeling the complex numbers in time series modeling, these two informations are necessary to indicate the relationship between the real and the imaginary part of the random variable z. So, but, it's difficult to uh, modeling using the relationship between the real and imaginary part of an X and Y. So the, the, the very simple assumption is that uh, the X and Y have the identical distribution and independent random variables. So in this case, the variance of X and variance and Y and correlation coefficient becomes zero. Then the complex complementary variance becomes zero. So this, this becomes zero, 
then the complementary variance doesn't hold any information when the x and y are uh, the same variance and this is uh, independent random variables. In this case, this time series which uh, com com consists of the random variable z is called proper or circular case, and all the other cases are called improper. What? Then the <laughs> sorry. Then so we uh, so for simplicity, we restrict our attention to proper complex value time series, and the, the proper complex value time series is a sequence of a proper complex values random variable z. Oops. Sorry, my hand. <laughs> the sample lag like H autocovariance of the uh, autocovariance function is given by these equations. And <clears throat> recall that the, we assume the, the uh, comp <clears throat> complementary autocovariance function at lag like H, it becomes zero because we assume that the, the process Z is a proper complex value time series. Then if the autocovariance functions can be defined similar to the real value time series cases, but and you should notice about that this autocovariance function is a conjugate symmetric such that the, the, the conjugate of the uh, lag H autocovariance function must be equal to taking the negative lags forward. So, Using this random variable z, uh, this is complex random variable z, we define the, the complex valid auto regression models with order one. So this is defined in these equations. So the, notice that the auto regressive coefficient has the complex valued expressions. And the option t is a complex valued white noise with zero mean and the unusual variance becomes sigma epsilon square, and the proper uh, should covariance becomes zero. So this is, we assume that the process is uh, proper time series. Then the parameter of low and mu are the amplitude, of, uh, amplitude and augment of the complex value. They are coefficient of order one that satisfies with the absolute values less than one, and mu have the, uh, has this <coughs> domain. The process Z has the spectral density uh, like this. So the, the mu uh, the, plays the role of the uh, mode of the distribution because this is the usual uh, lapped Cauchy distributions. So in real value time series, this law uh, mu must be zero or minus pi. Then this is just uh, the, the, the distance T has the mode at zero or pi. So the complex value uh, extending this process into the complex value the case, the spectral density can have a mode at any <coughs> uh, mu. So in directional statistics, the spectral density too corresponds to the rapid Cauchy distributions when sigma epsilon square is one minus rho squares, so due to the normalization. So this is we call the um, complex value the R1 process. And similarly, we uh, introduce some von Mises process because the Bloomfield introduces the uh, time series spectra has this form. But in the directional statistics modeling, this density, this spectral density corresponds to the uh, von Mises distribution on the circle when sigma square epsilon is uh, this values and this. Uh, I0 is the piece of the modified Bessel functions. So this, <coughs> when uh, expanding this expression, expo, ex, expo, ex, ex, mm, ex, <laughs> form, so we have the, this uh, model can be uh, expressed by uh, this expression. Then the, the Z, time series Z with complex value time series with this expression has this uh, spectral density of Bloomfield type, that is the von Mises distributions. So in this case, the epsilon t minus j epsilon t is a complex valid white noise with zero mean and the variance sigma square epsilon and the complementary variance is zero. 
And these two um, fundamental time series modeling can be extended to have the spectral density that the spectral density has the skewed, uh, skewed um, characteristics. So in this case, so we, we know that the, uh, we define this, uh, so we want to define the sine skewed process uh, using the transfer function of um, psi lambda. So <clears throat> using the, the, the spectral density of the uh, transfer function with this coefficient have the, have the spectral density function of this form. Then if we take the, the pi of lambda as this form, then the resulting spectral density has the uh, well-known sine skewed uh, sine skewed spectral distributions. So <laughs> we we are interested in estimating the spectral densities with this um, sine skewed or asymmetric symmet uh, spectral density of the given time series. So <laughs> it is uh, known by the from Abe san and some Niata san the. Science skewed process has the this odd covariance odd correlation function given in this form. Then, so this process, the science skewed time series modeling, that is expressed sorry expressed by this um, exp expression, the time series of this model, Z is a usual lap Cauchy or von Mises process, and taking the uh, transfer function of this form, then resulting the spectral of this process yt has the this uh, asymmetric spectral densities. So, and the asymptomatic spectral density has the uh, odd correlation functions given this form. Recall that this usual time series modeling has the uh, asymmetric symmetric spectral density that is the, so the usual case, the sign component of the um, uh, 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 fully expansion becomes zero, but this, this process has the uh, asymmetric, spec uh, symmetric spectral density. So this um, bet part, which is the uh, sign part of the odd correlation function, is not zero. And this is characterized by the uh, location parameter mu and the sine skewing parameter lambda. So in this case, in, in that way, we can express explicitly the, the odd correlation function of the process. Then similarly, we can express the odd correlation function of the sine skewed from Mises process, so given in the um, previous slides. So in this case, if the process is in from Mises with transfer function, this, this parameterization, then the resulting process has the odd correlation function given these forms. So the, this is um, the, 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 the odd correlation function can be expressed using this sine and cosine moment of the, uh, in the uh, directional statistics cases. So this is given uh, the, using this expression, we can I explicitly evaluate the sine skewed uh, from Mises process. So this is two gra these two graphs are the uh, simulated sample paths of the sine skewed process because the process are a uh, complex valued process. The imaginary and real parts are plotted in like this form, like this way. So the, the, the process is nothing but the bivariate process that is the real and imaginary part of the process. So these process have the structure that the spectral densities are not symmetric, uh, asymmetric. The parameters that we choose is on these parameters. So here we plot the time series of sine skewed rapid Cauchy process with positive skewed spectra. And this is the time series process of sine skewed from Mises process with negative skewed parameters. Then, this is the theoretical odd correlation function of the process. Because the odd correlation function has the uh, image, uh, uh, complex value, so these are the properties that the uh, odd correlation function is complex conjugate with 
uh, negative lags. So in this case, so lag zero correlation becomes here is just one, and the imaginary part has zero. But when taking the lag of one or minus one, so these um, corresponding lags with uh, different signs have the uh, symmetric about with, with this axis. So the, in this case, the parameterizations are same as those using these graphs. So the sign skew lap the Cauchy process has more has more uh, correlated structures in the uh, imaginary uh, uh, fashions this, like this way. <laughs> then the resulting spectral density is is given by this um, given these these plots. So we see that the, this is sign skewed from Mises process. Uh, sorry, this is sign skewed lap the Cauchy process with uh, skewing parameter is zero or 0.5 or 0.9. So you can see the little difference that the, the spectra has the asymmetric uh, characteristics. So when this is the uh, for Mises process, sign skewed for Mises cases, taking the uh, skewing parameter eta to the zero or negative 0.5 or negative 0.9, then the resulting spectra has this symmetric distribution, asymmetric spectra. In that way, um, these, um, these spectra, are, uh, the time series are uh, obtained using the, 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 the given parameters. Then we calculate the uh, some periodogram of the sample, sample uh, pass of the given time series. Then we just uh, confirm that the resulting um, periodogram is, can, be, can fit the true spectra true sign skewing spectral density of the processes. This is given for the uh, sign skewed up the Cauchy cases, and this is for the sign skewed for Mises cases. And the dotted line is the, the dotted line is, denotes the spectral density with the skewing parameter eta is fixed at zero. So you can see that the, this um, periodogram have the asymmetric, asymmetric property of the uh, given time series. So we plotted here to zero to nipi. In usual cases, the, the spectral density is symmetric. We plot this only the zero to pi scale. But in here, we plot the all uh, domain of the circular angular planes. And then <laughs> this model can be naturally extended to the random walks. So using this uh, uh, complex value time series with uh, some models, then using this uh, drift um, random walk plus noise cases, then um, the resulting sample paths have some, have some structures like this tacular uh, or, or periodic behavior of the, um, this, this trajectories. In these two figures, this is given by the parameters that is positive mu. The mu is the directions of the uh, directions of the uh, spectral density parameters. When mu equals zero, the resulting trajectory has this counterclockwise direction of the movement. When mu takes the positive values, the resulting trajectory of the uh, random walk has this trajectories of given these um, clockwise directions. So the parameter mu determines the way, way of the, determines the uh, directions of the uh, rotations of the given process. When mu is positive, so this is the trajectories have the anti-clockwise directions, and if mu is negative, the trajectories have the um, clockwise directions. So we want to estimate the uh, unknown model parameters of the given uh, sign skewed and time series modeling. So using this, uh, to do this, we have some uh, results that given in Yatta et al. They study that the uh, distributions of sign skewed lap the Cauchy of the, and the distributions of the sign skewed form Mises process are uh, this, or the uh, circular, ta, circular directional statistics, these two distributions are identifiable. 
So that's um, using the result of the Miyate chore, we, we can see that the sign skilled and lap the course and sign skilled for Mises process are identifiable with these um, parameter spaces. Recall that the form is this process has the kappa has positive values, but for the uh, 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 invertible conditions, the kappa must be um, taken values with less, less than one. And the, the skewing parameter has the domain with plus minus one. Then, so we don't need to assume that model and identifiability of the given sign skewed processes. So we have uh, implicit, explicit expression of the uh, odd correlation functions, so we can estimate the model parameters using the method of moment estimations. So that this is equa this is the estimating equation of the sign skewed form Mises a sign skewed lap courses models. So so this is the estimating equations. So we obtain the unknown parameters by this these equations, then we get the, so solving this equation, we get some uh, model uh, estimated parameters for the uh, sign skewed form is rapid cosy models. And this is same for the cases for sign skewed form is cases. We can estimate, uh, we um, use the estimating function like this form then we get some estimate model parameters by using method of moments. And so some regularity conditions are uh, assumed. Then we have some sympathetic normality results of the moment methods of moment estimations. And then <clears throat> it is naturally to uh, uh, five minutes, okay. Uh, it is natural to express, uh, estimate the model parameters by using maximum likelihood estimations, then in this case, we have some, we need to uh, prepare the, the, the Gaussian distributions for la, uh, imaginary, uh, sorry, uh, complex non-lambda variables Z. In this case, so the, 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 this is the proper cases, the, for the um, complex values Z, this is the normal distributions for the proper random variables Z. The using this uh, Gaussian distributions for the complex values, uh, random variable Z, we can uh, estimate the vitro type estimation for the unknown model parameters. So here we, uh, you, uh, we provide some uh, periodogram of this function in this way. Then the log likelihood can be approximated by usual vitro type of uh, contrast functions. The vitro type estimator is minimizing this uh, quantity. Then we have some results that the, uh, that the, the, the vitro estimation are uh, asymptotically normal with distribution, with um, variance of this inverse of this quantity. Then, so finally, I will show you some uh, uh, <laughs> and simulation results. So we see from this figure, we compare the method of moment estimates and which type of estimates. When sample size is getting larger, the RMSC getting smaller, and the all parameters are. Mm, then we can cons uh, we can confirm that the, these two estimators are uh, consistent estimators. And for the the Comparing the RMSC of these two methods, the vector type estimator has smaller, smaller RMSC, so indicating this is some optimal estimators. And also, so this is case for, for Mises distributions. And finally, we show some uh, data, uh, data analysis for using the old, old faithful guides or data. So these are two, two sequences uh, are transformed into the complex plane. Then we get some uh, estimates, some unknown model parameters. So, this, so we um, fit the model uh, of these two sequences in the complex plane using the sign skewed or sign skewed rapid Cauchy processes. So, the, so this is, these are estimated parameters and uh, this is the estimated parameter, uh, 
uh, the spectral density using the estimated model parameters with uh, observed periodogram the data. So we see that we see some kind of some some sort of skewing skewing uh, skewing structures are confirmed using this data analysis. So this work will appear in the research papers in statistical inferences for time series and related models and um, essays in Nanos of Masanobu Taniguchi. This is um, will be appear in the soon. And this is the um, uh, references of my talk. So thank you for your attention. This is the photo that we took in uh, last December for the ceremony of uh, Professor Masanobu, the recipient of the Kwan commendations of so this is me and this is Hiroaki Ogata thank you <laughs>